You have been convicted of a crime you did not want to commit. A crime of the highest degree. You have been exiled from your brethren and left to rot with the lowest of the low. In this place, there is no redemption. You are the base denominator of all, only to be taken from your cell in the most extreme of circumstances. You have no friends, no family. This is your prison. This is your home. This is your fate. Welcome to Dice Jail. So last week, we left Rins, we went back to the fishery where all hell, as usual, broke loose because Jason decided to go investigate the statue that I told him was going to kill everyone. He sicked a bunch of kobolds on us, and then the statue killed all the kobolds. So win for us, not so much win for the kobolds, and we still have to deal with the statue. Yeah, that's about right. Um... Yep, sounds good. That is definitely about right. So, let me let me bring us on into the uh, the correct scene, so we can see what's going on here. So, um, you all just got done finishing off those kobolds that came after you, um, and uh, the statue, as far as you can tell, has gone dormant for now. Um, and as Uh-oh. you take a moment to breathe, whew, the pigeon on Nick's shoulder <laughs> coos into her ear. She sh- just says, what? What are you talking about now? And the pigeon just jumps off her shoulder and starts flying down the tunnels. <gasps> and Nick's just yells, no, oh, what are you doing? Uh, and starts chasing after it, uh, shouting back at you. Don't worry, I'll I'll catch up with you eventually. Um, so. Cam's Nick's impression sounded like a very specific cartoon character that I cannot place. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere there. So, Nix is out of play, and Remy is still very much a wall. Hmm. So here we are. Oh boy. All right, here we go. What would you like to do? What's the plan, guys? Do we just uh, go back to the room? There's a bunch of coins in there. Can we maybe grab some of those coins? I mean, you can try and grab the coins. I want to figure out what's causing that damn statue to try and kill people. Yeah, I feel like that's the more pressing issue now. I mean, that statue didn't activate when I was in there, and I was trying to sneak around. So, could it have something to do with that? Were you injured when you went in there? Sorry, say that again. I didn't get you. Were you injured when you went in there? No, I was not. I mean, we can try sneaking, but... 
I don't trust it. I mean, fair. Did you see if that kobold room led anywhere else, or if it was a dead? Uh, I, I did. I didn't know. It's just a big cave. That's all I remember. Did you say that? Well, that's helpful information. <laughs> I mean, did yeah. You that... <laughs> did you say that you were able to sneak by it? And it I was. I was able to sneak by it. So. Motherfucker. Okay. Now, before we do this. Yes. I have health potions right here. I am going to point at them. <laughs> specifically. <laughs> Pat so clearly. Patra very clearly right points to the health potions here. on her belt. Yes, I see them. You see them? If I am downed by the horrible fountain, feed me a health potion. Escort me out of the room with the horrible fountain. All right. So, what y'all doing? Now that Petra has very clearly pointed out the heal healing potions on her belt. Hey, bud. You maybe want to hand out hero points? Damn it. All of you now have hero point cards. Yay. Yes. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, my gosh. What is this hero point card? Well. Oh, that's so much fun. I don't think this is going to help very much, but okay. Let's see. Um Actually, Emma, that that can help your that can help your spells. But I I only have cantrips. Exactly. Cantrips can be heightened. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um Yeah, cantrips can be heightened. Um So, hold on. Let me look at your spellcasting thing. Um, so... Okay, it looks like maybe neither of neither of the cantrips that Not you chose these can... Not yeah. cantrips. If you, had, if, you had, if you picked different cantrips, then that would be helpful. However... Wait, is that... Well, these th ones are ones that will be helpful to the party. So anyways... <laughs> yes. Uh, moving on. I would like to stealth, please. Um, okay. Where are yeah. you going? <laughs> I'm going into the statue room. To the statue room, I see. Yes, yeah, right. same. Get ready. I'm stealth rolling up. for all of you currently. We're all stealthing up. All right. I've done the stealth <laughs> oh, for all shit. of you. There's a natural oh, it's one so in much there. worse not knowing. I know. It's terrifying. So, Jason's going first. Jason, you, you see in the room, uh, there's a kobold corpse <coughs> floating in the in the water, and another kobold corpse over on the wall, over there. Um, and all of the uh, all of the crystals around the sides of the thing are still aglow. Ogren, okay, are I'm you gonna... following? Yeah, are you uh, guys also yes. following up? Okay. Sorry, my character sheet was covering. That's okay. <laughs> oh, shit, hold on, I gotta pull my character sheet too. Hang on. <laughs> right. Thank you for the uh, reminder. I keep forgetting that this wall is broken. <laughs> um, all right. So. In game or in virtual tabletop? We'll say both. These are ruins. We'll play both, yeah. Whoa. Right. Whoa. Such immersion. I know, all right? Things are broken <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> So, Emma is now inside another person's face. There we go. All right. Yes. Okay. So, you are all in the room, or two of you are currently in the room, sneaking about. Deception. There we go. Oberyn, you wander in, and you move over a little closer. And as you you do, you notice the absolute bounty of glittering coins at the bottom. Um, oh no! I believe you noticed before. 
whole pile of them. And as you look up to get a to sort of take in the statue, the last time you were in this room, you were busy trying to save Petra's life. You notice that the statue appears to be looking directly at you. Uh-oh. And all of you at this point realize that the crystals have begun spinning. No, 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 Petra, get right back there. <laughs> God the damn it, I just wanted to go to the kobold begun, room. Oh no. Spinning. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone get ready to roll initiative. Oh fuck. Oh, I donked up. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. <laughs> oh, really? I hate you. You, you so. we gotta like talk about your dexterity, okay? Like, come on, man. To be fair, he walked up to it. To be fair, I, uh, I didn't mean to go that far. <laughs> Over and adjacent, um, go ahead and roll for yourself. Is by the way, is this perception or is this stealth? Um, I would say it is. I would say it is perception. Perception, got it. Ha <laughs> ha I'm gonna oh, die. Shitty. I got a 22. Wow, look at you. Yeah. So, first up is the fountain. As, uh, the fountain. As it, you watch the crystals around the room begin to spin, um... The fountain is the fountain is going to uh, oh geez just start spinning its head around pointing at each of you <gasps> and uh, it lands its gaze on Petra oh <laughs> of course <laughs> oh no so, ma'am what did I do to you uh, you had bad luck. <laughs> so Petra... You had said to dice jail. That is a 14 to hit. Yeah, that doesn't hit. All right. Oh. This, you dodge out of the way just in time as this pressure pressurized stream of water <laughs> fires out of the statue's mouth. Uh, and oh my God. let's see. I would say... Um... I would say, Oberyn, as it does this, you would notice that the crystals seem to spin whenever the statue's head moves in a certain direction. So when it move when it began moving towards Petra, the crystal in the upper right started spinning. All right. Now, when you say that it's spinning, is it like is it like floating? Like no, it's or it's is it like, like embedded in the ground. It's like it's in it's so it's in like a base. It's in like a stone base in the ground, uh, and then it seems the crystal itself is spinning around. Like you wouldn't be able to just pick this thing up. Um, you actually tried the last time you were in this room. You you weren't That's able right. to just pick it up, um, but it definitely seems as though. So it's like set into like a pillar. Yeah, pretty much. But it's like on the ground, so it's it's at like uh, just above ankle height. Hmm. So huh. the world's is... worst game of kickball, everybody. <laughs> That's the end of the fountain's and... turn. Yes. What's up? Uh, you said that when it was targeting Petra, it was the top right crystal that yes. was spinning. Okay. Um. All right. That's all. So, Oberyn, it is your turn. All right. Um. Let's see. Are there any uh, weighty, loose materials nearby? Um, well, there's a dead kobold in the pool. There's a bunch of coins in the pool as well. Uh, there's also some rocks, a bunch of rocks, like rubble from the collapsed walls in each corner of the room as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to cast... Uh, telekinetic projectile on, and use um, one of those like bigger rocks to uh, smash this crystal right here. Okay. Uh, so that will automatically hit 
due to it being a stationary object. So I believe that's how that works. <laughs> Whoa, it dodges! Um, so go ahead and <laughs> roll damage. Dodges. Go ahead and roll damage. That's seven points of bludgeoning damage. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. All right. As this rock <laughs> slams off of the crystal, it seems as though you might not have chosen a big enough rock. Like, it looks like it maybe scratched the surface, but didn't didn't provide any noticeable damage. Okay. Um, then with my last action, I'm going to cast Shield on myself. All right, all right. Sounds good, sounds good. That brings us now to Jason. Run! <laughs> run! Just run! <laughs> um, just gonna just stride, use a stride mover, and just like, Oh, I don't want, there's no measurement. There it is. Okay. 20. 5, 15, 20. 20. Okay, 20 feet. I got 10 more feet out of my stride. Just, just run in, and he's going to just hit. He's going to, like, run into the door, and he's going to wait there. All right. Uh, all right. And I will say, wait. you um, are now in complete darkness. Yeah, I, I will. Can I, can I take an action to light a torch? Yes. Okay, I will take an action to ignite fine torch. Held one handed. All right, boom. All right, and I believe, uh, yeah. Uh, was your torch in your bag or on your belt? It was, I think it was on my belt. I just have okay, to then bag. you have one action remaining. <laughs> All right. Uh. I take out my rapier because I All can... right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything else to do. All right. That brings us now to Petra. I would like to shout over to Oberyn. Are we fleeing? Is that the plan? Can he respond? Uh, yeah, he can respond. I don't know. I... We can technically kill it, I think. I think we can kill it. If we break the crystals. I'm going to take another action to say, Jason, get the fuck out here. Oh, gosh. All right. All right so Petra has one action remaining. No, I... That first one should have been a free action. Yeah, the first one was a free action. Oh, right. Yep, you're correct. One action. All right. Move. Two action. Strike this crystal really, really hard. Action three. All right. So, since it's a stationary object, like before, go ahead and just roll damage. Wonderful news. Can, I, can you sneak attack stationary object? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's seven damage. What did you get? Seven damage. Seven points of damage. Similarly to the rock, your blade just sort of bounces off the crystal. Leaves a little scratch, but not, not any substantial damage. I'm not confident this is gonna work. <laughs> so that brings us back around to the fountain. God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> oh, fuck. So. Motherfucker. Uh oh. It. The head begins spinning around and around and around. Um. Until landing on Oberyn. And you notice as it moves towards. From Petra to Oberyn, from Petra to Oberyn, not Jason. Jason is not targeted, it seems. But from Petra to Oberyn, uh, the crystals are sort of spinning clockwise and counterclockwise, like, right before it moves. Hmm. So, uh, Oberyn, a jet of water, that is a 17 to hit. A jet of water spurts out oh. of the uh, <laughs> fountain. I... Uh, I... Uh, let me check. No, that doesn't hit. It does not hit. All right. Then uh, that is the end of this fountain's turn. That brings us to you, Obrin. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick out the biggest rock I can see, mm -hmm. and yeet that thing uh, <laughs> at the crystal I, I had attacked before. All right. Um, just realizing I missed that this thing does in fact have an AC. 
Uh, so I am gonna oh. have I am gonna ask you to roll to hit this time, which is you know you'll probably hit it, but let's see. An AC of like five. Seventeen. Seventeen. Unfortunately, you were just shy of hitting it. Whoa! What the wait, fuck? what? So, the rock bounces off, just bounces off the crystal, doesn't even scratch it this time. Okay, maybe we run. So, Out of boy. Over, and I believe you have one action remaining. Um, let's see. How long do I have? Oh, never mind. Uh, with my last action, I'm going to cast shield again. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, and that brings us to Jason. Uh, of his torch ignited, he's gonna just yell yell back to his friends, "Guys, we gotta go. Just run!" And he's gonna like take a step inside the doorway. <laughs> okay. Jason steps into the room, which is now illuminated by his torch. Yeah. Um. Yeah, as you look around, you can you can't see the entire room because your torch doesn't go that far. But right. um, what you can see as you enter, uh, you know, you get the general things like you knew there was a table there before, um, and you can see a couple of other like side caverns, but you can't really see much else. You're kind of freaking out right now. I am freaking out. Yeah. So you have two actions remaining. Uh, shoot. I'm just gonna take once. No, okay. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna ready one action. Uh, just if something comes in and tries to attack me, I will attempt to strike it. Okay. <laughs> and I got one more action. What do I do? Um. Fuck. That's. I. 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 I take a dodge action. I can't do anything. That's it. <laughs> I just wait for my friend. I don't even think dodge action is a thing. It's not a thing. I just I just say, like, <laughs> I, I burn one <laughs> action for nothing. All right, then. Uh, Petra, you're up. Fucking fine. I'll run over here. Ah, not that far. <laughs> ah. Would you like to measure? My thing is currently a little broken okay how so what is going on okay it was glitching out and just letting me see the black part and just moving there hmm. so 5 10 15 20 25 then I'll take a second stride to get over here and then uh, burn a free action to yell all right Oberyn Come on. All right. Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here. So do you want to use a third action? I don't have anything to do. All right. That brings us to the fountain then. Um, so. Uh, the fountain spins around again. Firing a jet of water at each corner. Thankfully, Oberyn, you are not in a corner. So, oh, it does not target you. That brings us to your turn. Okay. Hang on, quick question about this statue. Yes. yes. So, is, is the water like... Is it like a constant stream of water? Or is it like... There's only water when it's firing. It's like jets of water that are, they're only there when it's firing. It's like something is inside it pulling a trigger. I know I should run, but. <laughs> I, will, I will also note the water is only one foot deep. Now that you're get, you've gotten closer, you can see very clearly that this pool is not very, is not very deep at all. I don't have anything I can plug it with. Yeah, I'm running. <laughs> All right. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Oberyn, <laughs> did you mean to run in the direction that your friends were not? No, I did not. 
All right, that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can get to. Oberyn says, "See you later." I'm well, guys. I gotta go AFK. Direction. See ya. <laughs> no. Is there? You have thirty feet, right? Is there a path? I believe so. Yes. All right. So there's. There's your thirty oh, feet. Okay. Yeah. Does everyone have thirty feet of movement? Uh, no. Okay. Just you and Oberyn. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. So um, Oberyn, okay. What's you the, have two actions just... remaining. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Let's see. And a reminder that you can move through friendly spaces. You can't. You just can't end your turn in a friendly space. Gotcha. Um. Feel free to take a second stride. Well, can I see the statue's mouth? Uh, I would say yeah, as it's sort of just spinning around. Uh, this is a horrible idea, but I'm going to cast telekinetic projectile and uh, try to launch a rock into its open mouth. Ooh, okay, okay, roll the hit, roll the hit. Uh oh. 25! 25! Oh. All right, Oberyn, you pick up the rock and you send it sailing through the air with your telekinesis. And as the statue spins around searching for targets, the rock boom, lodges, lodges itself in the statue's mouth. Right as it's locked its eyes with you. Oh boy. You see water spurting out around. It's not a perfect fit, but it seems to have plugged the statue up for now. Okay, that's good. It's also my turn. It is. You've got one turn. You've got one action remaining. Or, no, wait. Oh, yeah, that, that is. That was, yeah. I forgot that the spell is two actions. All right. Jason, you're up. Uh. What are we doing? What are we doing? He's going to get into a more awful position, uh, running up. How do I measure? Is the measurement dead? <laughs> no, you can use the ruler. Oh, okay. I just can't. Uh, let's see. There's. Uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to just run up to the table. Uh, all right. Use all my movement run up to the table. All right. Stride action, table. All right. You've arrived at the table. All right. Um, uh, I will and, yeah, search the table for right. any valuables. <laughs> <laughs> the, all right. The table has some food on it, some cutlery, cutlery some plates, um, and... Uh, it also looks like the kobolds have been like playing games or something, um, and uh, I believe just at the edge of your vision, you can see looks like some sort of a metallic glint against the cave wall right over here. Oh. Which way? Oh, okay. So you have one action remaining. Uh, some metallic glint over there. Yes. All right. I'll take another stride action. Check with that right. out, I guess. You move to check that out, and as you do, you spot that this is a chest. And in addition, oh. you also see that those alcoves you noticed earlier appear to have uh, beds in them, little, little, little bed rolls. And you also notice one of those bed rolls appears to still be occupied <gasps> right up there. Oh. Um, uh -oh. Uh oh. Kobold is I'm currently sorry. laying down. You're not entirely positive, but you think it might still be asleep. Okay, that's good slash bad. That brings us to Petra. Y'all getting really mixed signals here. What are we doing? <sighs> you can't reply, can we? You can, yeah, use I don't... Your, you can use your reaction to reply if you want to. Oh, no, I'm not using my reaction. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right, then, Petra, you don't get an answer. Bitches. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right, let me measure something. All right, yeah. I'm going to... Yeah, I should be able to make that work. Ah, stop doing that. Okay. 
I want to go here. All right, you jump in the water. I want to strike at the thing's neck, like right at the seam. Okay, okay. Go ahead and roll the head. That is a 23. 23. You leap up and you you sw swipe at it with your rapier. Um, but this is not only not what rapiers are meant for, uh, but, uh, yeah, this is, the seam is a little too, little too tight for you to get, like, you can't even wedge your blade in. Um, like, you think maybe you'd be able to fit a piece of paper in the, in the, in the seam, but that's about it. Horrible. Okay, well... I'm going to use another action to move back the 20 feet I came. All right. <laughs> that brings us now to the fountain, uh, which is currently spinning around. Uh, locks its gaze on Oberyn. And uh, it appears that the rock is still holding. Oh. Um but it definitely looks like pressure is building up on the other side. So, that brings us to Oberyn. What would you like to do? Um, run. All right. Oberyn moves into the next chamber. And then I'm going to cast shield. All right. He casts shield. And that brings us now to the end of the encounter. As Petra, you turn around and you see the statue as Oberyn leaves and just sails past you in the hallway. You watch as the statue appears to go dormant and is now inactive. Congratulations, you have cleared the encounter. <sighs> uh, which means that oh my God. Oberyn and Jason both gain 80 XP. 80? Petra, <gasps> yeah! Petra gains 60. For so. succeeding in nothing. <laughs> well, you bypassed it. Yeah, we bypassed so it. So Oberyn, that now, means here's that a question. Uh, at the end of the session, you'll be able to level up. Yeah. Oh. Here's a question about that. Uh, yes. Do I like once I hit the threshold of, you know, one thousand HP? Do I do I go, like have you zero XP towards so, the next level? So you do carry over. The way it works is that you get okay. you get, basically you spend a thousand. At the end of the session, you can spend a gotcha. thousand, and you just subtract a thousand from your total and keep the rest. Okay, that makes sense. Um, all right. So, for now. For all intents and purposes, you are still level one. So you will gain, you will continue to gain re XP rewards and such as a level one character for the rest of the session. Okie doke. Unless you choose to forgo a level, which you could technically do, but I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Actually, I don't want to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, once you've all adjusted your XP, you have the room at your disposal. And uh, I just turn around face up like shh with my hand with my finger above my lips like quiet I know he you're says, celebrating <laughs> he says with his torch still lit yeah <laughs> and then Oberyn's going to say yeah no shit <laughs> so what would you like to do Jason you're right in front of that chest I'm going to check it for traps really quickly. Okay. Go ahead and... Uh, well, actually, no. I make that check. That's a, a perception check that I make. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. I have, I have no player agency. It's all the DM. You said there was a sleeping kobold where? Uh, I, I'm assuming Jason directly pointed it out. Yeah, I pointed it out. Yeah, it's definitely. Right up there. Um... Okay. Jason, as far as you can tell, there are no traps. 
Nice. It's gonna. <laughs> is there is there a lock on the chest or? Um, it appears that there. It does appear that there is a lock with a or a latch with a lock on it, like a padlock. But um, whoever closed the chest last appears to have forgotten to actually close <laughs> the padlock. Nice. Happens. The best of us. Don't worry. It's gonna very stealthily attempt to open it very carefully. Okay. Oh boy. You attempt to very carefully open the chest. Put your hands on either side, and it creaks loudly <laughs> open. Ouch. You you wince. Nice. And uh, you slowly look at my the cobalt. Fevery. You you turn. You move your head around the corner to look at the kobold, and it still seems to be fast asleep. Ah, uh, okay, okay, nice. So, inside the chest. <gasps> Here we go. Uh, I forgot to get my notes out. Hold on one sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Inside, inside the, the chest. chest. It's it's a nice uh, balsa wood chest. I could have <laughs> easily broken it. <laughs> uh, it appears that there is a small sack of coins. Coins, nice. Uh, 20 silver pieces to be exact. You also Ooh. see a minor healing potion. Um, three small jars, which are, uh, they appear to be made of clay, uh, ceramic jars, so you don't know what's in them. But three small, three tiny jars. Uh, you also see a bolt of fine silk cloth, uh, a Fairly nice looking uh, glass decanter with uh, looks like some wine in it, but you don't, it, it doesn't oh. quite look, it doesn't quite look the right color. Uh, Ooh, and finally, it's called vinegar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you spot what appears to be a feather dipped in gold. Gold dipped feather, okay. Nice. Okay. Gold dip better. Okay, I will pocket all of them. Would you like me to hit the distribute coins button? To distribute uh, yeah. coins evenly, or does Jason just want to try to pocket them all? I, I think. I think. I think. I think the the tradition is is we at the end of like the the journey we sit down we distribute everything. So all I right. feel like in, in universe it would be a bad time okay. to distribute coins. Right? So. Jason, as you take the uh, as you take the sack of coins and go to put them in your bag, you realize that there's a sack of coins in your bag that you didn't put there. Uh, you've got an uh, extra, um, you've got an extra twenty gold pieces, and what the fuck? Uh, you re you remember back. That you were supposed to find some coins under your pillow. It appears they might have made their way directly into your bag instead of under your pillow. Huh. After your little visit with the uh, with what? the crook's nook. Yes. Okay. Wait, hold on. It just randomly appeared. Oh my god. You hadn't noticed it up until this point. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That is wild. Damn. Okay. They're fast on this. <laughs> wait, hold on. Where did this get here? Wait, wait. Over it. Where, did you see this come here on my belt? Uh, did I? Did I see what? Uh, did someone like? Did we brush by anybody who could have like reverse pickpocketed me? Uh, nobody. We haven't killed. Okay. Oh gosh. Now I'm creeped out. Someone like bumped into me in the market and like gave me twenty gold coins. You all hear a very distinct <laughs> in the corner of the room. Let's kill a kobold first, and then let's talk. Yeah, yeah, let's kill that guy. Okay. Stealth mode activated. I was trying to figure out what's in this cubby. Uh, Petra, it appears to be a raised platform, slightly raised platform, with a bunch of bedrolls in it. Nothing else? Nope, just a really distinct smell. Oh. Ew. Not as bad as the Julgaths, but still pretty bad. Fair. Petra, what are you up to? Oh, Petra, as you move up, that's a, that's a note I should make. You, uh, these are seemingly stairs worn out of the stone. 
Uh, and there's also oh. a bunch of crates over here in the corner. Well, that's all delightful. Yes. Uh, it also appears the stairs that are worn out of the stone uh, progress further. There's an, it, you can see what looks like the ceiling of another cave. Um, but these are hefty stairs that go like 20 feet up. Okay. Um, is everyone ready? <laughs> Says the sleeping kobold. <laughs> I'm going to look to the lads yeah, for their go. approval. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sneak up next to the wall. Okay. 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 I wanna whip my throwing knife at him. Okay. Roll to hit. Uh twenty-two. Twenty-two not only hits but that crits. Oh no. Dope. So go ahead and uh roll damage and then double it. Can I just hit the critical button on Foundry? Sure. What'd you get? Six, apparently. Six points of damage. Huge. <laughs> All right. Uh, you whip the knife at the kobold, and it embeds itself uh, directly in its chest. The kobold shrieks out in pain as it finally wakes up. Ah! 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 Ow! Ow! It looks down at you and just ah! oh. oh no. Do we have to roll initiative? I don't know who does what next. Uh I rush him with my with my rapier and I try to stab him. All right, you rush up and as you do, you can you see it it's, puts its hands up in defense. It goes, "No, no, 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 no." Do you still stab? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Alright, go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like it's a dick. Alright, um where the hell's my character sheet? This is God. Alright, I'm sorry. Does it make ready. you feel better to know that none of us know what he said? Uh actually like I feel like every single thing that's alive, your first instinct is saying no 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 to getting absolutely demolished. Yeah, pretty much. Fair. That's a yeah. good point. <laughs> It's a natural. It's a natural thing. I feel like if animals can talk, that was what they, what they would uh, ask. Fourteen. Shit, fourteen hits. Oh, fourteen, fourteen just hits. barely hits. Oh so my go gosh! Ahead and damage. Roll damage. Is he flat-footed? Uh. Uh. Yes. I get sneak attack. I think. Yup. Oh my gosh! It's an extra D six. I'll just roll that. On my, on my mouse R.I.P. Pad. little lad. Uh, that's five points of damage in total, <laughs> plus the... Okay, so it's one plus four, it's five. So five points of damage total. You rush up to the kobold, and before it can get a weapon or do anything, which it doesn't actually seem to be trying to do, is it just puts its hands up, you just... <laughs> right, in the, right in the head. It's oh. dead kobold. Dead kobold. Uh, um, no, you, it was fun doing this. You all gain 10 XP. <laughs> yeah! Oh, worth Even it! Even me? <laughs> yep. Yay. Even Petra. <laughs> wow. We should be killing more defenseless sleeping people. Yeah, I let's don't do it! like that message. <laughs> well, I'm that's go the takeaway. What was that, Petra? I wanted to go look at these crates. Okay. Um, you look at the crates and, uh,. They all appear to contain, um, they all appear to contain food, um, or have at least once contained food. Some of them still have some food in them, um, just different cured meats, and, uh, you see a crate of what look like chicken eggs, um, that reminds me. Jason, you would notice as you're pulling your blade out of the kobold, um, it appears to have uh, a, a, a necklace with mm. a sizable chunk of eggshell on, hmm. uh, on it as an ornament. 
Interesting. Uh, and it is notably, uh, it, it is notable that this this the eggshell it's this sh- piece of shell uh, is as large as a chicken egg. Mm. Um, and is yeah has green spots and is all veiny looking. Didn't Oberon find an egg? He did. He did find a pretty much identical necklace on a different kobold. Jason's going to remove it. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to add to his inventory of things just in case. How do I add that in? Okay. Uh, You hit the plus sign. Okay. Is there a name for this? Eggshell necklace? Eggshell necklace. Did I end up taking the one that I found? I don't remember. I think you did. Okay. I'm right, gonna is... start heading up the stairs. All right. Yeah. I'll is follow. anyone else? Okay. Jason is following. Yeah. Same here. Petra, as your torch illuminates the cavern, you, the first thing you notice is a very large hole, a pit, if you will, right oh, not a pit. like a few feet in front of you. You also spot across the room a pair of kobolds um, with weapons drawn. And as you enter and your light illuminates the room, you hear a voice cutting through the darkness. Sir, you have finally made it to me. What is your name, your stranger? Petra. Petra Palmer. Nice to meet you. Hmm. That will be nice to eat you, I think. Cool. You took this in a weird direction, 